Girls on their phones. Girls on their yeah, phones. Yeah, you know, taking selfies and stuff because I'm so cute. Have you marketed? I think you've marketed yourself really well in, what, five years you've been doing this? Three. Three? Yeah, three and a half years now. I think I did a really good job at, like, marketing myself and just, I don't know, being consistent. Consistency is key to everything. What do you mean? Like, just working consistently, mm -hmm. being a consistent performer. Like, I feel like people know when they call me, I'm a, you know, give them a show. Well, I also know we've shot you several times, and there's a reason you're back today. Mm -hmm. I know that when you show up, there's no drama on set. Um, no you, drama. You, you come in, knock it out, and... I come in, I knock it out, have good sex. Now go home. And I think I've worked for all you guys' sites. Like, I've been on every site. Yeah, every pretty much. black girl site that we have. Yeah, no, I haven't done, like... Oh, Blacks on Blondes. Blacks on Blondes and, like, Zebra Girls mm -hmm. and, like, yeah. Were you always like that? Professional? Just always... Yeah, you, super professional. Were you that way before you got a porn? Yes. When I worked at McDonald's when I was 17, I was professional, so... Mm -hmm. That's really not a good example. That sucks. No, I mean, it <laughs> doesn't matter what you do. But I also other places, too, you guys. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. No matter where you work, you're either a pro or you're not. Yeah, you know? definitely. Like, there's just a certain level of professionalism that you got to bring to the table. Did you deal with a lot of assholes there? Actually, no. I'm a cute girl. Oh, that's true. I think true. everyone tries to, like, flirt with a cute girl at work. Yeah, but then you get the... the I sock... have hating girls. Like, girls yeah. would be like, oh, my gosh, she flirts with everybody. Uh, yeah, I do. Or you get the soccer moms whose husbands hit on you and, and they're mad at you. And they shouldn't be because it's not my fault. Right, you can't help it. Um, so you, you did you did fast food, then you got into adult video? No, I did fast food and then I did retail. I did retail for a long time. Everyone in porn's done retail. Yeah, but I was like really into like customer service. Like I used to work at uh, Claire's and I would pierce ears and stuff. So like yeah. I pierced a bunch of babies' ears. Really? I was an assistant manager for like a year and a half and then and then I fell into porn. So while you were doing that, you were thinking about getting into this business? Yeah, while I was doing that, I was actually having such great sex with this guy. Mm -hmm. And I just was watching porn. We were watching it together and stuff. And I was just like, I think I could do that. And he was like, no, you you shouldn't do that. You know, like blah, blah, blah. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, but I, I think I could get into porn if I tried to pursue it. Mm -hmm. So I like went online and I started looking at like different stuff and agencies. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna just move to California and shoot porn. And it worked. And it worked. And now, three and a half years later, I mean, I'm here. I've shot like 200 scenes, maybe. Right. A lot of girls after three years, they're not porn stars. They're still adult performers. But I think you've crossed that threshold into oh. being considered a porn. So you've done box covers, signings, I was just nominated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been like performer of the year nominee. So I think that definitely qualifies me as like an adult star, for sure. Last question. How often do you get recognized in public? Quite often. Lately, We're, it's been happening a lot more than I'd like. What's the worst way to approach you? Please don't. If I look if I look crazy, like I'm hungover, like I was getting tacos hungover, mm -hmm. and this guy, he made eye contact with me, and I immediately knew. I was like, fuck, he knows who <laughs> I am. And then he didn't say anything to me good because I looked all fucked up. I was like, I just want to get tacos and go back in my bed. Mm -hmm. And then he DMs me on Instagram, and he's like, oh, so I think I just seen you getting tacos. I'm like, thank you for not saying hello to me. So he was, he was... He was polite. polite. He, yeah, he didn't bother me. But, but I think that's the way to do it. Either right. you don't speak, or when you speak, you're just subtle. Just like, yeah. hi, how are you? Don't follow you around the grocery store. Don't follow me around the grocery store, and please do not be like, oh my gosh, you know, I just, I watch all your movies, and da 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 like, that's scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, you know, it's scary if they don't pay for it. Right. If they're a member or to their, our site or anywhere else that yeah. has you on it. Then, Pay yeah. for your porn, guys. Pay for it.